Ah, Hi, it's been quite some time since I last posted any content on YouTube. Uh, I haven't had much of an outing of late. And uh, today I'm doing a ride to Guwahati. I uh, will be doing some uh, 380 kilometers on my Xpuls. Uh, it should take me approximately 8 hours. I started at around 7.30 in the morning and it was quite foggy then. But thankfully now the sun has come up. So pleasant weather. Just the perfect kind for long rides. It's uh, 25th December today and the year 2022 is about to end. And actually it wasn't a great year for me. Uh, you can say I merely survived. So I want to say goodbye to 2022 on a kind of a positive note. So I thought nothing better than picking up a new skill that would help me in 2023. Well, I'm entering Kaziranga now. To my left is the Panbari tea state. And uh, Kaziranga is one of my favorite destinations. Uh, this is an area uh, I don't feel like rushing through. And moreover, uh, speed limits are strictly enforced along the stretch of the highway. There are around 9 animal corridors along the stretch. So, this is an area you don't want to rush. Just take your time, soak in all the visual goodness, all the good vibes of this area. I like the name of the hotels here. They are named of, after birds, Drongo, Pelican, Hornbill, and Oriole. Due to uh, road construction and road widening activities, a lot of uh, trees were cut along this Sipsagar Guhati stretch of the highway. And uh, Kaziranga is one of the few, very few uh, stretches of uh, greenery that is still intact. I don't see any rhinos today, so we won't stop, we'll keep going. Maybe is there any rhino here? Oh, there's one. I saw one. I saw one. So we won't stop, we'll keep going. Ah, there's a rhino there. Just next to the National Highway. See what people do to take pictures. Well, this is a stretch that reminds me of Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, got a chance to go to Machuca last year. Beautiful, beautiful place. Good morning everyone, today is the second day of my trip and I'm in Guwahati now and uh, today I begin to equip myself with a new skill. So my destination is Tech City in Bongora, Kamruk district. So my classes they start at 10 a.m. and I'm starting a, a bit early in order to avoid the traffic jams of, of Guwahati. Okay, here it is, Tech City, Amtron, Drone School. So, here we are. Nice campus. Beautiful campus. Okay, this is the Amtron Drone School and I have come here to get my uh, drone pilot certificate or the drone pilot license as you call it. 
so the thing is if you make money from your do drone or you intend to use your drone commercially uh, then you require a drone pilot license and that is exactly what I'm here for as far as documentation is concerned you need a copy of your passport your Aadhaar card class 10 mark sheet medical fitness certificate in the prescribed format which they give you and a couple of passport size photographs as far as course fee is concerned the fees vary according to the category of drone that you want to fly as of now Amtron offers training in two, in two categories first is a micro that is any drone that weighs above 250 grams up to 2 kgs and small category which uh, includes drone that weighs more than 2 kgs and up to 25 kgs there's discount for students uh, msmes and government employees so i fell into the uh, I mean professional category and i opted for micro category of drone because uh, i feel that is the weight category that i'll be flying most of the time if you happen to compare pricing with other training centers it is uh, still the cheapest and moreover this is the only drone training center in entire northeast now as far as course curriculum is concerned uh, it's a five day course and the first two days involve intense theory sessions and you have to sit for an exam on the uh, third day it's an offline exam with multiple choice questions and once that is done training on the simulator starts this is where the fun part begins day 4 and day 5 were field sessions where i was taught how to fly the drone this is the part i really thoroughly enjoyed my instructor for these 5 days was captain ambuj verma and he was assisted by rex basubatari ab before take off dekhiye before before take off kya karna hai aircraft place at rtl location level एयरक्राफ्ट प्लेस एट आर लोकेशन लेवल का मतलब क्या है कि आप वापस कहाँ पे लैंड कराना चाह रहे हैं एयरक्राफ्ट को वहीं पे करेंगे अब देखिए अब कोई भी फील्ड चेक करने से पहले ये ऊपर नीचे बराबर नहीं है okay. तो हमेशा ये देखना है कि टेक ऑफ का जो एरिया हो वो बराबर हो ओके okay, ठीक है अब बैटरी कनेक्ट होगा तो ये औरल साउंड होगा टी okay. टी और मास्टर में एक टी नी नी ऐसे है तभी तो वो तो कनेक्टेड का साउंड है डू नॉट एयरक्राफ्ट डू नॉट मूव एयरक्राफ्ट फॉर 15 सेकंड 15 सेकंड्स इसको एज इट इज रखिए ठीक है उसके बाद में वेरीफाई ब्लिंक रेड ऑन हार्डवेयर स्विच सेफ्टी अब इधर देखिए अब यहाँ पे रेड कलर की लाइट ब्लिंक कर रही होगी हाँ ये यही है कि वेरीफाई ब्लिंकिंग रेड ऑन हार्डवेयर सेफ्टी स्विच कन्फर्म ग्रीन जोन ऑन डिजिटल स्काई ठीक है ये ग्रीन जोन में है सर ओके सर वेदर आपने देख लिया वेदर क्लियर है ये मतलब मेटार जो मैंने आपको बताया था कल तो मेटार में आपने देख लिया सब कुछ क्लियर है आप परफेक्टली फ्लाइंग करने लेते हैं ये आप हमेशा इसको ऐसे रखें जब तक आप पे कंट्रोल नहीं आ रहा है जब आपको कंट्रोल दिया जाएगा तो बोला जाएगा तब आप 50 परसेंट थ्रॉडल करिएगा तभी स्विच कंट्रोल हो हमारा सीधा सीधी स्टार्ट कर चलो तो हमारा सीधा सीधे होल करो या कोई और 90 डिग्री करो फॉरवर्ड जाओ फॉरवर्ड ऑब्जर्व अगर कंट्रोल नहीं तो ऑब्जर्व करें एटलीस्ट नीचे ड्रोन आ रहा है ऊपर डर रहा है इधर उधर जा रहा है तो तुरंत बताए जितना जाता जाएगा उतना और स्लो करते जाएंगे ओके सर और एक टाइम आएगा आराम से इसको और जैसे ही लैंड करेगा पूरा डाउन कर देंगे डाउन कर जैसे ही लैंड करेगा पूरा डाउन करके पहले डिसेंगेज कर स्विच कट करेंगे सो एट एंड ऑफ द फाइव डे ट्रेनिंग I learned a new skill, got my certificate, and most importantly, made new friends. Hi, good morning. Today is 31st December 2022, the last day of the year, and I am going home back to Sibsagar today.
year 2022 was kind of a lesson for me. Uh, lots of ups and downs. Life may not go as intended, but it is important to look ahead, concentrate on the positives. So it was important for me to end 2022 on a positive note, and I'm so happy that I've been able to do that. It gives me the much-needed hope, the motivation as I step into a new year of my life. So I'm finally home. It took me eight hours from Guwahati to Sibsagar. I did around 950 kilometers in this past week. And so here's wishing everyone a very happy and prosperous new year. Take care.